Hello there. I am the Red Ranger. I am here to, to cover you for Director E because he is out of town as of right now. So today, I'll be covering for him. Just kidding. It's me. <laughs> hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video. Now, this is not actually a, uh, a costume. This is a uh, Halloween costume that I wore. Or uh, last last year, not the uh, the one that I wore during my uh, Disney cruise, but the year before. But yep, I decided to uh, dress like a uh, the Red Ranger from my uh, cop costume before my Toy Story run. It's because I wasn't really uh, playing this idea, but since I got the costume you know, for this movie review, I decided I might do it. You might be wondering, what is it? Well. For marking up the 30 years for Power Rangers, I'll be reviewing Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Once and Always. Now, I know it's a little late to review this, but I had plans during the uh, 19th, that's the release date for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Once and Always during uh, the Netflix launch, but... I decided to pick this date out because, well, it's the 30th, which makes it the, uh, the same uh, number as the 30 years for Power Rangers. So with that, I'll be do doing this in the honor for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers as the uh, 30 years have came in. I'm really excited to do this because, as you know, I'm a huge Power Ranger fan. So with that, let's get started. However... I know this is really a uh, a movie review. It's more likely a uh, a special movie review, but since it's a uh, an hour long, I decided to uh, make this a uh, a somewhat of a short movie review. But if you haven't seen this yet, this may contain some spoilers, so don't watch this yet until uh, at least when you watch the uh, the film. But anyway, I'll give you my uh, ratings in the end, and because of a uh, there's a lot. Lot to talk about for this special. Alrighty then, you guys ready? Let's get started. So it starts off with Billy on the uh, verge of the attack of Robo Rita. Uh, however, luckily enough, the Rangers came in just in time to aid him. However, as Rita was about to finish Billy off, Trini came into the rescue. However, as the uh, blast from Robo Rita's power, it killed her, and so. After the death of Trini Kwan, they mourn for their death as they lost their fellow Ranger member. But worst of all, Min Kwan, the daughter of Trini, have found out about the death of her mother. And uh, as her for uh, grief, luckily enough, Zack came in as the adoptive uncle to uh, Min and decided to raise her. her after a year, Zach, along with Billy and uh, Tommy, Jason, and, and Kimberly, they went out to see Trini's grave. However, out of nowhere, Rita Repulsa came in with two of the restore or monsters, now in their robotic versions of Snizard and Minotaur, and they captured her Jason, Kimberly, and Tommy, and they were draining their powers with their uh, new machine. So with that, they come up with the idea you know, to uh, recruit two other rangers, Catherine and Rocky, and they managed to uh, make new power coins, which they used to fight off against any putty patrollers and make sure that everyone is safe. However, as for Min, she was still more learning about her mom's death, and she decided to uh, honor her legacy by carrying out the Saber Two Tiger coin and her power morpher and attempt to morph into the Yellow Ranger. However, it didn't work out so well. That when uh, Zack was a little angry at her, her because she wasn't doing this for justice. She was doing this for revenge since Robo Rita murdered her Trini. So with that, uh, she tried to uh, do it one more time by uh, stopping Snizard and Minotaur. However, it didn't work out so well. So with that, Billy came in and ranted at her for uh, doing something reckless. Then Min came back saying that if it wasn't for him, her mom would still be alive. 
that really uh, shocked Billy because during a flashback, it was revealed that Billy had a new who was who company called Cranston Tex, and uh, he also built a, a secret base. He's with a, an alpha, which he tried to uh, create a, a, a way to relocate Zordon. However, during the Z-Wit, it was revealed that the evil from Rita Repulsa uh, was living from the Z-Wave, and it came out to Alpha A, which is how Robo Rita was born. And Billy was right. It was his fault that uh, he he uh, created Robo Rita by I'm no mistake, because all he wanted to do was to find Zordon, especially from the Z-Wave. Billy thinks that he may be alive, however, it is not really possible. So with that, and after uh, trying to sneak their way up to their uh, new moon base to uh, get the, the uh, new machine from uh, stopping her from uh, traveling back in time to warn the old Rita uh, that they will will make new rangers and plan to kill them by their sleeps before Zordon could recruit them. That was when uh, Min tried to step in. However, she was captured and the other rangers tried their best to uh, fight off against Nizard and Minotaur. However, as the same blast that Rhea used to attack Billy, Min came in and tried to save him, which it actually, instead of killing her, gave her the yellow ranger powers and all the legacy he threw out Trini Kwan. So with that, Min had became the new Yellow Ranger and fought up off against the putties and the two monsters, which one of them grew, grew to a size of a giant, which called for the Dino Megazord to come back in action and finish up Snizard, which is now big. And with that, they managed to stop Robo Rita and they managed to save the world. As for the uh, capture rangers, well, don't worry about them because Aisha and Adam managed to bring them back in time and uh, bring them to Aquatar where they will recover her from their uh, condition and they will be recovered safely. As for uh, Rocky and Catherine, they went back to their normal lives while uh, Adam, Zach, I almost said Adam, I don't know why, Zach, and Billy and Min were uh, doing a little union in around the uh, smoothie bar, the uh, same place where they used to hang out. Oh, and they were uh, telling stories about Trini Kwan and her legacy. And that was the end for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, once and always. <laughs> now, I gotta say, I was actually thinking that it was actually pretty good. There were some few negative things that were from this film. Him or a special, if you whatever you want to call it, and I can see that because there are a lot of big questions to uh, ask around. I don't know what's going on. Like for example, how did Billy manage to came back back to Earth from Aquatar, as we seen in Power Rangers Z? You know that uh, he decided to stay in Aquatar due to his conditions and Earth. Earth and uh, how did the Dino Megazord manage to recover? Because in season two of Memet. MMPR, no, season three, they were destroyed from their uh, Thunder Zord forms along with the White Tiger Zord. Or, and most importantly, how did they manage to uh, rebuild new power coins since the uh, power coins were destroyed in Power Rangers Alien in Rangers? So, with that, I can see how uh, there are a lot of big questions and uh, some few negative reviews, and I can see that. But I think it was actually pretty good, not only for the 30 years for Power Rangers. But for honoring I mean, uh, Tui Trent, the actress who played Trini Kwan, and all, and recently Jason David Frank, who played Tommy Oliver, they both passed away. But once a ranger, always a ranger. So at that, I think it was the best way to honor the 30 years for My Morphin Power Rangers, and also honoring the uh, the ones who passed away. Rest in peace to them both. I really honor that. So for my uh, ratings for this special, it has a a, a decent uh, plot, but not a lot of uh, a ways that you expect it. So I would give it a uh, at least a five out of ten. And but anyway, it was actually pretty good. But for that,
We Power Rangers have always been there for the last 30 years protecting those who are the innocent and anyone can be a Power Ranger, even you. But even though if you retire, once a Ranger, always a Ranger. Thank you so much for watching this and I'll see you next time for some more BH Made shows coming real soon and we'll see you next time. Ranger out. Hey, it's me, BDH. But I'm also known as the Brick Dragon Hero. That video was great, huh, Applex? You said it, BBJ. And if you want to see more of the Brick Dragon Hero videos, all you gotta do is subscribe. Follow Brick Dragon Hero on Instagram. Like for this video. Share this with your friends. And comment down below what you think of that video. And don't forget to check out the last video. So thanks for watching and have a brick day. Whoosh.